Welcome to Episode 7 of the Heart of Bastrop Talk Show. I'm TJ Finn with the Heart of Texas Chamber of Commerce. And I'm Connie Schrader, Mayor of the City of Bastrop. This is our special Mother's Day episode. All about the mothers. It is. All about the cool things you can get for mom for Mother's Day. It's just a cool episode. I am so glad that we've got Susan Smith with Visit Bastra. We do. We have Joe Watts, who's a local artist. She makes some gorgeous stuff. Oh, I've seen it, and it is just beautiful. And then our very special friend, Melissa Hayes. I can't wait to visit with her. Yes, let's find out what all these guests have in store for Mother's Day. We are here with Susan Smith with Visit Bastrop and local artist Joe Watts. And I'm so happy that we have you two ladies with us today. Everything's about Mother's Day, right? Mm, that's right. And I heard TJ told me that Susan has a top 10 things to do in Bastrop on Mother's Day. We do. And I. They're so important. I brought my list with me so I wouldn't miss anything. Um, you know, we have different moms have different tastes and different things that they like to do. So mm -hmm. maybe for the adventure mom, we would recommend zip lining with the Ziploss Pines or a oh, picnic um, at um, one of our lakes or biking at McKinney Ruffs Trails or hiking at the state park. Nice. Also, all moms love gift cards. There, and then there's plenty of gift cards like for the spas. There's several spas that we can That's take advantage idea. of. <laughs> <laughs> the Lost Pine Spa, the Cherry Blossom Spa, just to name a few, are great. Um, also, shopping on our main street is mm -hmm. fantastic. Um, we have um, some new stores and um, I would say like Casey Outfitters, Sage & Co. would be a great place to shop for moms and mm -hmm. gift cards. Also, yoga. If your mom loves yoga, another great place would be ThriveWorks for yoga. So we recommend that. Uh, Cana Wine is one of our newer, I think one of our now newer businesses. Now we're getting businesses. to it, TJ. Yeah, yeah. Alcohol, yeah, and <laughs> Alcohol and food. Alcohol and food. There you go. There you go. So <laughs> Cana Wine, I would recommend. Uh, they do a lovely wine tasting there. And CC and Wine Co. also, lovely wine tasting. I would also recommend, uh, let's see. Oh, food. Mother's Day at Storehouse. They do require reservations, but they have a fabulous menu that day from um, Mother's Day. For so they're going to do like a brunch? They're Mother's doing a brunch, oh. yes. It's a prefix family-style meal, including free champagne. Oh, excellent. Mm -hmm. That's the real gift because, you yeah. know, the kids want to come over and you end up cooking all day. It's like, well, no, it's Mother's Day. So we shouldn't have to let cook somebody on else, Mother's Day. We'll let Sonia do the cooking that day. That's right. That's <laughs> there right. you go. That sounds like a lot of fun. And always, you know, a fun, relaxing day, especially if the weather's not great, is a catch a great movie at Film Alley would be a great idea. And they have, you know, they have um, meal service there and you can bring your, your meal right to your seat and enjoy a movie. And again, you don't have to cook. That's I fantastic. Well, and some moms like to get flowers, but with Joe Watts, you can have the painting to treasure forever. Talk to us you about what you painting, got But on. you left out the most important thing on Main Street for shopping, and that is the Monarch Gallery. That's there right. You go. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> 920 Main Street in the Bridges Emporium, where the first gallery on the right-hand side as you walk in. And I have porcelain roses, if you like flowers, oh. all handmade, and they're made right here in the palm of my hand. So wow. nobody else can uh, can do those because it's got my imprint on the on the petals. Nice. How cool is that? And you know what? I heard that you do classes. So, you know, uh, for silk painting on, on scarves mm -hmm. or painting on silk. And pottery. Pottery. Always wanted to do pottery. Well, absolutely. And what a great gift for a mom is to give them a gift certificate for a future That's class. That's good. And I do that. I, I have gift certificates for my work in the gallery and also for my classes. Would yeah. your classes be okay for beginners? Mostly they are for beginners oh, because when my students leave my classes, they go out and buy potter's wheels and they buy clay <laughs> and they buy uh, kilns. And then they call me every now and then and say, what kind of glaze do I use on this? Or what temperature do I fire this to? And uh, I make great friends that way. I it's love really that. Good. You yeah. know, there's not a person in my age group that didn't see ghosts with uh, oh, yeah. Patrick Swayze that doesn't <laughs> want to be a potterer. Okay. <laughs> right. That was kind of a done deal. I'm sure that sparked a whole new oh, generation of potters. It has, especially um, for, for people who've never done it before, because when you watch television, watch a movie, they always have a pot made. It, it really irritates me. They have a pot <laughs> made. They put it on the wheel. They put the actor or the actress there, and they make their hands go up and down, up and down. You can't do that with 
You've got to, you've got to learn from me how to do it right. So how long do the classes take? Tell us a little bit about um, what people could expect. I start them at ten in the morning. And usually about two hours a session, but sometimes if somebody's working on something, I'm not going to throw them out and lock the door. They're going to stay there until they get to a stopping point. So sometimes they're there for two and a half or three hours. Sometimes they finish in one and a half and say, I'm not going to start anything new till the next session. I do six sessions. I include everything, the clay, the glazing, the firing. Everything takes two firings, all the equipment, the tools. Lots of laughs. We have a good time. Sometimes people bring adult beverages. And we have even more laughs. <laughs> but I found that rather than doing a class once a week and having a whole week in between for things to dry or for somebody to sort of lose their momentum or forget what they were doing, I do two a week. And oh, um, nice. because of other things I'm having to do, the class I've got scheduled for May 15th is going to be on Mondays and Wednesdays for three weeks. Oh, and that way you don't like have fun. to compete. Co- you don't have to commit for six weeks of your life being tied down. And I like that, too. That's I good. Sounds like How many people can you handle in a class? Generally about six. Although I do have someone who wants to bring a whole group of eight. And I said, if you're really good friends, I think we can make it work. Because <laughs> <laughs> it will be, be kind of tight. But we can do that. I love that. I have that. two wheels and um, lots of clay, lots love of patience, it. and I have fun. That's great. I love that. That's a really yeah. cool thing. I would, hey, if my kids are listening, that's what I want <laughs> from other you, you know, I think it's, you know, we're all moms are different, right? We all we're individual women. We have yeah. different so many differences, yet we have this thing in common of motherhood. And and it it's a way that women bond together. I'm a mom, you're a mom, we swap stories, we talk about our experience as a mother when we're young and then when we're older moms of adult children, we do the same thing. We talk about how we want to choke them most day. No, I'm just <laughs> kidding. But it, it is a way that moms bond and what a cool class to go and and you meet other we women and people need that the interaction so we live in a world where we spend a lot of our time flipping through tiktok videos and and we've isolated ourselves in many ways put down the device and pick up a pottery wheel. absolutely that's, right. Right. that's and, exactly what and I my was classes thinking. aren't limited to women i have many men come in my class and i've had some husbands and wives come together it's a thing that they do for fun and they, they go home and they can talk about it they can they saw discuss ghosts. ideas <laughs> they watch ghosts yeah <laughs> It's well, and t- whether it's Mother's Day or any weekend, you can always find out what's going on in Bastrop. So tell us a little bit about your website at Visit Bastrop. Yes, yeah, so uh, Visit Bastrop hosts a website. It's the number one official website for the city of Bastrop to know what's going on, to be in the know. Perfect. So it's visitbastrop.com, and you just scroll to our events button, and you'll find out anything that's going on. Into the into the future, even we have over 900 events posted currently on our website. So be sure to check that out. Um, I wanted to mention one thing when we were talking about moms that are different. Also, we have you know we're very blessed with the Colorado River, mm-hmm. and um, for some adventurous moms, you know maybe getting out, renting a kayak, and putting those devices down and getting in the kayak and enjoying the great outdoors. I love that. It is it is beautiful. And you're right there in the park. So exactly. you can go right there in the park, spend a little time, have a picnic, jump in a kayak. And, and off you go. And off, off you, you go. go. Um, if you guys don't are not aware of this and you be sure that they're signing up for your newsletter on the website as Thank well you. Yes. because we get a lot of great information as a even as a hotelier in the area i follow your newsletter i'll be sure i'm like oh well this is going on i need to be prepared to know that there may be extra people coming into town that weekend so it is a really valuable source of information whether you're a local business or a local resident or somebody from out of town exactly thank you great. yes and I have a website. All right. I do Perfect. have a website. I, um, I'd i rather be in the studio planning mud than updating it. So sometimes it gets <laughs> a little bit stale. But um, I call myself a clay smith. You know, you've got your gunsmiths, your blacksmiths, <laughs> your wordsmiths, your songsmiths. I'm a clay smith. And that's the name of my website. It's joewattsclaysmith.com. It's all one word. So Perfect. go have a look. So well, they'll be able to look at all your good yeah, stuff. You bet. Susan and Joe, thank you so much thank for you. coming. Thank and you for if you're us. looking for Mother's Day or any weekend, we can help you out. Thank you so much for coming to visit. Thank Thanks. you. Thank you.
Genesis Laser Aesthetics here in Bastrop, Texas, we offer the most advanced technology in facial rejuvenation and body contouring. With pelvic floor strengthening, Mcella is an FDA approved treatment for urinary incontinence. Msculpt Neo can reduce fat by 30% and increase muscle mass by 25%. How about a facelift without needles, surgery, or downtime? Don't drive to Austin. Our friendly staff will be glad to set up a free consultation. 512-581-5016. So we're here today with Melissa Hayes. She's a dear friend and she's also our hair and makeup artist. We are thankful for her every week. We really are. And we want to know all, we know all about her, right? But we want everybody else to get to know you. So tell us what you do. Um, so I am a licensed cosmetologist. Um, I am also a skincare and makeup junkie. Um, and I have been for many years. I actually first fell in love with makeup and skin and then decided I need to get my license. Um, so I'm a licensed cosmetologist, um, skincare expert. Um, I do a little of this and that, and I also am a, um, hairdresser in, in, uh, IATSE, um, a proud member of the local 44. And so I get to do a little bit of film and TV and do some commercials and all sorts of fun stuff. But the best part is when I know Mel, if it's not here at the talk show, it's about call for beauty. And you literally, you call and the beauty help comes and you That's can right. go see Mel or <laughs> you'll come to our house if we ask you to. Right. So um, I have a suite that is um, at 623 Suites, which is connected to Garner and Riley here in Bastrop. Um, it's a beautiful, brand new private suite. I share it with Sage Salon. And you can come and book an appointment with me, come and get um, facial. Um, I have some great chemical peels that a, a lot of people uh, started through the winter and we're continuing to do because they are very gentle chemical peels um, just to help give you that, that beautiful glowing skin and help with hyperpigmentation, scarring. Um, and I have some people that come for lash lifts um, and I have have a, a few a few special people that come and, and do hair services with me on occasion. But um, I love to stay busy. My husband and I are out in Smithville with our dog. And <laughs> um, so I just, I love to stay busy. I love what I do, very passionate about what I do. So if, you know, if you have a commercial coming up, I can be there um, on location and do your hair and makeup for you or a wedding. Um, I bet prom kept you busy. Yes, it's continuing to keep me busy. <laughs> um, yeah, prom is, a, a, I feel like in the Austin, Bastrop, Smithville, the surrounding areas, it's like a whole month of prom. So, oh, yeah. yeah. So you have one school and the next school does there. And a, they, a lot of them don't do it on the same at the same time because they know that there's resources like hair and makeup and there there's uh, limousine venues. service yeah. venues yes yeah. so yeah. they they try to stagger them so it's a good thing for hair and makeup artists that that do that a lot so you mm -hmm. don't have 18 people on one day um but i tell you i connie was just telling me that she recently got a chemical peel and she loved it and i i had one too and my skin never felt better it that was amazing um, and then, of course, I go as regularly as I can to get facials because, you know, I'm getting older. Yeah, I know it's shocking, but I am getting older and my skin is, is dry sometimes and, and it just needs that extra moisture. And I've been using for, what, six months, your line of skincare products that, that you recommend. Mm -hmm. And I've, my skin's never felt better. It yeah. is amazing. So the skincare products um, that she's talking about is the line that I use. Um, it is called Bio Elements. Uh, they've been around since, I want to say, the late 70s, early 80s. Um, and they do not add any fragrance. There's uh, no phthalates, parabens, synthetic products. Um, they're very, very much clean, but also clinical um, so I, I love to use their products. Um, and I also like to rec help people figure out what they need, you know, for at home use, because Absolutely. I tell people this, 
we only, as your, your professional uh, skincare people, we can only do 20% of the work for you. You have to do the 80% at home. So you, right. you don't want to waste your money and go, you know, buy some expensive facial service and then not wear SPF and not, you know. I didn't understand how important the SPF was. Oh my and goodness. then you were like, you've got to have this, the SPF for the day. And I was like, it feels like suntan lotion. I don't know that I want to do this. <laughs> but I tell you, I can really tell the difference. It's not just a, you know, hey, this is, you know, not working. I can actually, I feel the difference. Okay. And well, I have tried several, everything. Several people know that my son uh, had, has melanoma and there there's it's great for your skin to look good but there's medical reasons it, it, we mm -hmm. have absolutely intense sun through the summer you putting your that spf on your face makes all mm -hmm. the difference it and really does. and you have to i tell everybody it only works for two hours so if it's a spf 50 you are 50 times more protected with that product on than you are without it for about two hours so you you not only want to have one to start your day with, but you can't depend on your makeup product with it. Um, and the best thing is to fall in love with one that you feel comfortable carrying in your pocket. Um, and again, if you need help, I am more than willing to help you uh, find That's some. That's the help that I got, right? It was not just, here's some skincare products. It was, let me look at your skin. Let me decide exactly what you need. And nobody had ever done that for me. And I had spent so much money at department stores on skincare products. And I'm not talking about $4.99 Walmart products. I'm talking about two or 300 bucks for this, two or 300 bucks for that. And they never felt good. They were greasy. They didn't feel right for my skin because no one had ever looked at my skin and said, this is really what you need. And it really, I, I'm not kidding you. It's really, and I'm not a girly girl girl, but... <laughs> It made a huge difference. Um, just the way I felt, I always felt like my skin was dry and it was just uncomfortable and it's just not anymore. And I appreciate that. And if people want to get gift certificates for their mom, mm -hmm. how can they do that? Because you have a cool setup for through the web to do I that. I do. So um, I use Fresha for all of my bookings. Um, I am by appointment only because I do so many different things. Um, so to reach me, you can go to my link tree and find a button to get to my booking page. Um, and that would be www.linktr.ee slash call for beauty. Um, we better show that on yeah, the bottom. Yeah, we're going to Yeah, we won't remember yeah, that. So, yeah, it's, but it's so easy because I bought gift certificates for friends mm -hmm. through there and it was just such an, a really easy process. And sometimes we just, especially when you're my age, we need stuff to be uncomplicated. <laughs> um, so I also have a couple specials I, I wanted to mention. Um, so this season, a lot of people are going more towards natural beauty um, instead of getting the, you know, the big full false lash look. Um, a lot of people are wanting to get, uh, enhance their natural lashes. So I have a special this season for Mother's Day um, for a lash lift and tint. Um, and I will have that at the top of my, my menu when you oh, go great. to book. Mm -hmm. And also um, I have a special on a vitamin C, uh, even brighter facial. That's, uh, it's a series of facials. It's recommended uh, in a, a series of three. So we start, we start gentle and make sure um, that you're going in the right direction. And I never want to force, you know, force the skin and use anything that's too much for it. So, right. Well, I, I know when I went to the Casa Gala, um, we had the, the, uh, bingo bling thing that we did out at the, uh, convention center, uh, Mel came to my house and cause it was a crazy day and she had, she was coming off of production and I was super busy. So she came to my house and did my makeup. And I felt like a princess, I'm just saying. <laughs> and somebody called and I was like, I'm so sorry, I'm with my makeup artist, so I'll have to call you back. And I was like, I'm a princess. But that's a big deal for people who are super busy, mm -hmm. who can get away, that, that they can call for her beauty and and she'll come to you and make sure that you feel like a princess. So. Yeah, and in, uh, in Austin, in San Antonio, in Houston, 
they have apps where you can actually get someone to come to you, but they don't offer that here in Bastrop yet. So you can reach out to me and I will come and do hair and makeup. It, it can be for a gala, prom, date night. It can basically be for anything. It can be uh, airbrush makeup, regular makeup, just we don't need what, an app. Whatever. We have you. <laughs> whatever you need. So if you want to make your mom feel like a princess, make sure that you reach out to Call for Beauty, Melissa Hayes. Have more than one mom in our life. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. And I tell you, you have all kind of options now that you can do for your mom. So you can, you know, get her something from Joe Watts, a local artist, a great gift. You could gift her one of Joe's classes, either pottery or silk painting. Well, and Susan Smith gave us all kinds of ideas. She really did. Go to that Visit Bastrop website. You can really see what's going on. Oh, and I'll bet you better sign up for Sonia's luncheon i bet that brunch oh, fills up quick that storehouse yeah that sounds amazing and of course our own mel hayes with call for beauty that's a great gift to any mom and i tell you once again i really enjoyed having her come to me but i also enjoy going and getting my facials and i know you do as well well and moms are busy and maybe that's not something they can do that weekend but what a great thing to look forward to kind Absolutely. of extends the celebration it really really does and it gives you know them opportunity to set it on their own schedule so i tell you guys you don't want to miss an episode of the Heart of Bastrop talk show. So go to theheartofbastrop.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel. And happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there.